Hello, I'm Dr. Page, founder of Cambridge Homeschool Online. I want to talk a little bit about small class sizes. So it stands to reason that if you've got 30 children or more in a classroom, and certainly in Asia uh, and other parts of the world, you can get classes with 40. Most state schools have classes of 30 pupils. Uh, and one teacher and sometimes uh, you will get a helpful uh, teaching assistant but often uh, that won't be the case so quite often most of the time in fact uh, it's one teacher 30 children in that classroom you will have children who uh, can't speak uh, the same language uh, as the rest of the students um, in my experience English and you will have students who have uh, learning challenges uh, due to disability or they are struggling with uh, confidence or self-esteem uh, or maybe it's the subject matter itself that is uh, too challenging. Um, it could be myriad reasons. One teacher, 30 children. How much time does that teacher have to spend with each of those students? So one thirtieth. Well, not always, because some uh, children are uh, needing of immediate attention and that attention, nobody knows how long uh, it will take to uh, meet the needs of that particular student. So the truth is, regardless of what a lot of politicians might say and what a lot of head teachers who listen to those politicians might say, uh, the clear facts are that one teacher and 30 children doesn't work. It can't. So this is known as a differentiation problem and it doesn't work. Quite often, children who have uh, disabilities and serious uh, health concerns um, or any kinds of challenges are, are in need of more support, individualized support. And most parents recognise that. And if you go online, you will see uh, lots and lots of posts from angry parents expressing uh, just how dire that situation is. Despite well-meaning teachers uh, and well-meaning head teachers, for that matter, uh, most people in schools, teachers do so. The teachers teach out of a vocation. It's a vocation. They teach out of a desire to help. The fact of the matter is the school system uh, with regard to differentiation in the classroom, one teacher, 30 children or more, uh, is broken. That part of the teaching and learning exercise is breaking down. So what's the answer? The answer is smaller classrooms. Well, that's obvious. The thing that's less obvious is that a lot of parents don't query it. OK, I've talked about the people on online who are upset because their child with special educational needs uh, or other challenges uh, is not getting the help that they need. But rarely is it articulated uh, in the way that I am articulating it. The simple case of one teacher, 30 children or more doesn't work. This is what we need to do in order to improve the education of all children. We as parents, and I'm a parent, as well as a teacher, and as well as a head teacher, we all need to get very vocal at the same time to make sure that class sizes are smaller. Why should it be the case that some parents with money can afford to buy a classroom with 10 or 15 children in it. And everybody else who's paying into a system is having to endure classes of 30 or more. A class of 30 or more means that at best your child is going to get one thirtieth of the teacher's time. And don't forget that a class lesson involves about half is about delivery you know, the PowerPoint, the information giving, uh, the settling of the class, dealing with some behaviour issues, uh, whatever it might be. And the actual time in the classroom where children have an opportunity to put their hand up 
the question and answer piece and at the time where you're they're settling down to try and do some work and are getting stuck and require support that's the other half of the lesson and that's when it's going well so one thirtieth of half a lesson time so if an hour if it, if a lesson is one hour as it often is then that's half an hour of total teacher support time for your children now divide that 30 minutes between the 30 children, your children now have one minute, a whole minute, if they can get the teacher's time, that is one minute of support for lessons. It's not good enough. It's a long way short of what your child and my children deserve. So what are we going to do about it? Write to your MP, go online, push the agenda for smaller classes. If we can do that and the government can put its hand in its pocket for something other than its friends, something other than a load of COVID material that no one can use, left on a dockside, rotting away, on missiles that will never be fired, on silly election winning promises um, and building half a railway or God knows what else it is. Let's get our children's education right. The future requires incredible, um, a requ a, a, an incredible response. We've got AI, we've got um, potential pandemics, we've got all kinds of challenges uh, that we, we don't even know are out there. We've got a job market that's changing so fast that nobody knows what to study for. Uh, we need students who are going out into the world confident, uh, good self-esteem, and um, that's not going to come from a one minute or less in each classroom of support from their teacher. It's got to improve. It's the issue that everyone skirts around. Nobody wants to talk about it, and it's because it costs so much money. And we all kid ourselves that when we send our children to school, that they're getting a good education. Well, I can say as a teacher, as a head teacher, as a founder of a school, as an academic, uh, a PhD, all of the things. If anyone knows that the classroom size is the big is, is the big issue, I know it, and I'm telling you that that is the issue. So. When you're talking to anybody in education or a politician or anybody else or replying to a comment or an educational article, it's class sizes. It's class sizes. Get the class size down. Your children's education quality will go up. Thanks for listening. And leave some comments below if you wouldn't mind. Let's keep the debate going. It's a really interesting topic, crucial for your children, crucial for everybody's children and crucial if humanity is going to meet the needs uh, of the modern world. Thank you.